I've been selling Elementor toolkits on my website for almost a year and a half now, and I've never showed anyone how to export or import a toolkit with Elementor. It's kind of embarrassing, right? So today in this video, I'll show you guys how to export and import Elementor toolkits onto any domain. So we're gonna take a blank website and we're going to import one of our toolkits and this will fully propagate everything like the pages, the images, and the colors and fonts. So let me walk you guys through how to do that. So here is the website that we are going to export onto another domain. Now, this is one of our Elementor toolkits. And as you guys can see, it has the images, it has the colors and the fonts. And we're going to take this website and virtually clone it onto another domain using the Elementor export and import feature. So we're gonna put it on this domain with nothing on it. If you guys do want access to this template, we offer this template plus 300 other template kits available on my website. If you guys do wanna check it out, I will leave it in the description below of this video. But first, let's go ahead and export this template kits. So let's go over here to our dashboard and you're gonna scroll down to Elementor and you're gonna to find tools. Under the tool section, you'll see that we have the import and export kits. Then you're gonna see export a template. So I'll click on start exports. Now it's gonna ask us, what exactly do you want to export? So here we have the templates, which is basically our templates that we created with the theme builder. We have the content such as the pages, the posts, and then we have the site settings. This essentially applies the colors, the fonts, and the theme style to the actual kits. Now below that, there is the kit information. So you guys can actually make your own kits and sell it just like we are. So I'll just put like the Websites kit. This is a great kit. Make sure that you guys do have all these checked right here. So make sure that these are all checked. That is unchecked. So make sure that you guys have all these checked. And then next, we'll click on the next button. So next it's asking us, you have certain plugins installed on the websites. Do users need to have these plugins installed for the toolkit to work? Well, for this specific kit, we need Elementor and Elementor Pro. These ones are not required, so I'm not gonna have these checked. So only have the plugins installed that you need. So if you guys are using Elementor Pro, then you'd wanna make sure Elementor Pro is selected. Also, if your toolkit involves WooCommerce, you would wanna make sure that WooCommerce is also selected if it is an e-commerce kit. But we are using Elementor and Elementor Pro for this toolkit. So I'll go ahead now and click on Create Kits. And now it's gonna create our kit. And just like that, it's done. So let's go ahead and save it. I'm gonna put main toolkit and I'll save this to my desktop. All right, so there is our toolkit. You guys can see downloaded on the bottom left of the screen. So I'll go ahead and close this and also close this. Now we're gonna take that same toolkit and upload it to another domain. So here is the other websites. Now let's go over here to dashboard. Now there are some requirements that you guys need to make sure that you have on if you exported it with specific conditions. So the first thing is I actually have the Hello Elementor theme installed on that website. So I wanna make sure that the same theme's installed just so the import process goes smoothly. Also, we are using the Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. So you'll see Elementor is installed and also Elementor Pro is also installed. So if you guys are using Elementor Pro, just make sure that you guys do activate it. Once you guys have done that, over here under Elementor, let's click on Tools. Next, we'll click on import export kits. And then right here under import a toolkit, I'll go ahead and click on start import. Now I'll select the file. So here's the main toolkit. I'll go ahead and open this. Now it's notifying us that zip files or JSON might be unsafe, but just go ahead and check the do not show again and click on continue. You guys can see that it does have the plugins required, but we already have these installed. So Elementor and Elementor Pro are installed. So all we gotta do is click on next. Next, it's asking us what you want to import, the templates, content, and also the site settings. I wanna make sure all these are checked. And then once that's done, I'll click on imports. Right here, I'll make sure that we enable the unfiltered file uploads. You guys can also do that from your settings section, but you guys can also do it from right here. So just give this process like one to two minutes. All right, cool. So the kit is now live on the website. Let's go ahead and close this and let's take a look at the website. So up here, I'll click on visit site. And voila, we now have a beautiful website that has successfully imported all of the content, the styling, and even the little pop-up. Look at that, you know, because this is actually part of the theme builder. So you'll see everything looks great. Scroll down. And all we have to do, obviously, is just replace the logo. But uh, we can click on the other pages here just to make sure everything works. And look at that. We even have our beautiful contact form that we custom made from scratch. So that is pretty much it for the 
import export feature. Hope this tutorial is helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But there is one other thing that I do just want to show you guys because I didn't really cover it too much, but I, you know, just in case. Over here under Elementor and settings, over here under the advanced. So earlier in the import process, it asked us to enable unfiltered file uploads. This is what you would need to enable just in case you don't want that to pop up. But now Elementor just basically does it automatically. But if you wanted to know where that setting was, here it is, right? So that is pretty much it for importing and exporting Elementor toolkits. Hope this video was helpful. Pretty simple, right? Now, if you guys did run into errors, that is a very common thing with Elementor toolkits. Um, I actually do have a full support staff team that can actually help you guys with your server configurations and importing it, but it is a paid service. However, you guys can also contact Elementor or your hosting company, and they should guide you in the right direction as far as what server specs to set on your server in order to make it properly import. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Daryl Wilson. I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.